All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Radial Engine for Spacecraft mod, which is being made by forum user Kevin4D. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is not one, but three wonderful new radial engines for you to use. And they are perfect for landers, VTOL craft, etc. So let's uh, jump on into the space plane hangar actually today and have a look at what we do get. Now let's grab ourselves a Mark 1 inline cockpit for size comparison's sake, then turn on our mod filter just leaving on T and then head down to the engine category where we have our three lovely parts and we'll begin with the first one the big engine which will provide for you 270 kilonewtons of a max thrust with a max isp of 3400 using liquid fuel oxidizer and electric charge and also does have eight degrees of gimbling to give you a bit more control and if we pop this thing on here as you can see here it is quite a cool looking engine i really do like the modeling on this thing a lot of fun little details all over the place very very well made and good on the texturing and as well it may not be exactly stock alike but it's pretty darn close which I certainly appreciate and with its power it is a pretty good VTOL engine for you to use now let's check that one off and have a look at the next engine which is the medium engine. This one will produce a lot less thrust at 180 max kilonewtons with a max ISP once again of 3400 using liquid fuel, oxidizer, as well as electric charge, and once more has 8 degrees of gimbling on it, which is always a good. So let's pop that one out, and as you can see here, rather than the three sort of engines of the previous one, the medium only has a two two there but still has all that fun same sort of detail to the modeling which is just a very nice now you can probably see where this is going with the next one which is of course the small VTOL liquid fuel engine kind of a name change there from the other two but hey this one will produce for you 90 max kilonewtons of thrust with a max isp once more of 3400 and again using liquid fuel oxidizer and electric charge this one though does not have any gimbling like the previous two did and if we pop uh, this one on you can see it is just basically one of the circular engine parts there but also the texturing is a bit different on it. As you can see with the large and medium engines, you have that sort of red core in the center, which it still has it, but it's more of a copper colored core. And the blue also doesn't seem to be quite as vibrant as with these two, which is an interesting change, but still a fun one. It's a very good looking engine. And overall is just, I think, a nice little addition. With those 90 kilonewtons, a couple of these onto a smaller craft could be very useful for uh, landers. And it's just quite cool. Biggest thing that I wonder about, though, is the name change. We got big, medium, and then small VTOL liquid fuel engine. I don't know why it suddenly got to be a larger name, but hey, it's still a cool little thing. So let's go and test these out in the world, and uh, well, actually, I've already got one on the runway, but let's load what I created anyways. And here, as you can see, I took the standard Ares 3A, added on some tanks with some oxidizer for, well, use of the engine, as well as uh, some electrical components, as these do all use electric charge along with the liquid fuel and oxidizer, and put on one of, well, two of each of the engines, the large, medium, and the small. Haven't actually tried flying it yet, so let's, <laughs> let's see how poorly this goes. But uh, it will start, we'll start easy, you know, hopefully work our way up to higher thrust and we shouldn't crash horribly. We'll see though. But yeah, they are some pretty good looking engines and I actually have played around with them on some properly made landers, uh, but I wanted to make something weird and wacky as I usually do to test these things with. And so let's pin our resources so I know we don't run out of uh, oxidizer electric charge. 
SAS on, start at zero thrust and we'll walk our way up. A loud startup sequence there, as you heard, but as we throttle up, the engines are actually quite quiet until you really hit sort of the 50% uh, throttle mark. Like right now, you can hear them, uh, but they are quite low. I'll be quiet for a moment for you. There we go, and oh boy, we are crashing. Yeah, of course we are. Let's revert flight there again. <laughs> Clearly, uh, I didn't put enough thrust on the front engine, but let's, uh, let's, you know what? There we go. Throttle up. Started a bit higher this time, and throttle fast. And oh boy, we're upside down. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why I don't fly VTOL aircraft. It's just awful. I have to keep barrel rolling to actually stay upright. Good times. But the engines are working out quite well. Let's throttle down a bit to give a bit more control now that we're actually in flight here. And yeah, they are some pretty fun little engines. The large and medium do have a sort of that blue particle effect on them, whereas the small one has a more traditional, actually it looks almost like an RCS effect, kind of just with these small puffs of yellow whitish flare there. Oh boy, oh boy, we're lo we're losing a bit of throttle. We're losing a bit of throttle. Okay, okay. Once we go upside down, we rotate again. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm an awful pilot, but they are fun little engines. Perfect for the use in any sort of VTOL aircraft or landers that you may wish to create. And they have a real good look to them, and it's always nice having some additional radial engines in the game. So if you'd like to have a look at these for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But uh, that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and that you do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!